Hello, friends! Hi, welcome to my channel. Today's video is impromptu, uh, and I did upload another video today, or I should have been, um, where I dressed my hair. So I'm gonna dress it really quick too, okay? Emerald green. We love it, thank you so much. Hopefully it's gonna be blue soon. But my hair didn't lighten enough, so it's green. But that's okay, I'm still kinda, I'm kinda vibing. Okay, now we can get into today's video, now that the elephant in the room is addressed. Also, sorry for this backdrop, I'm still filming Halloween looks. Make sure that you are subscribed and hit your notification bell if you don't want to miss my Halloween looks. Um, so my office is a mess, okay? And I'm not going to take this backdrop down every single time I film a normal video, because it's so annoying. And I'm short, and I live alone, and it's hard to put up by myself, okay? Please just understand. Okay. Let's get into today's video. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you stick around. And if you're an OG, thank you just a little bit extra because you mean so much to me. Okay, today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Pat McGrath Holiday Collection. Now, I purchased the palette from last year. Hold on. This is last year's holiday palette. Now, if any of you are unfamiliar with Pat McGrath, she is a world-renowned, incredible makeup artist okay and her products are some of the best on the market uh from what i've heard i've actually only tried her eyeshadow formula so i i can't say that but that's like what she's known for like she can justify her price tag okay because she's that amazing whatever so when her holiday collection came around last year and this amazing palette was only 78 dollars Oh, I'm editing this right now and I'm really sorry for that crotch shot. <laughs> okay, moving on. I know that's expensive. I know that's still expensive for a palette. However, 18 shades in here. Oh God. However, 18 shades, a mirror, beautiful packaging. Okay, for her, that is so affordable. Um, and this is one of my favorite, my favorite palettes to date. So when she does her holiday collections, she does a major discount. You are not getting the full luxury experience of the packaging, like the hot, like the weight and material, but you're, so you're getting cardboard, but you still have a really, really nice packaging that makes you remember that this is a Pat McGrath palette. So I want to talk about this year's holiday collection because I was so happy that I bought that and I'm definitely going to be buying this regardless and if you've ever wanted to try Pat McGrath products this is the time to do it they don't do sales that often make sure that you like subscribe to their newsletter because they do email you when they do have sales it's not often but it is worth it all of these photos that I'm using are from trend moods Instagram y'all already know I'll leave her linked below okay um my camera overheated so we're back <laughs> all right I also just ordered lunch so if the doorbell rings and I get really excited It's because my food is here. Okay, so let me scoot over so we can put the pictures of the holiday Pat McGrath collection. Okay, so like I said, I'm not sure what last year's collection was or if it was just the eyeshadow palette. When I went to purchase the eyeshadow palette, it seemed like there was only that, but regardless, this collection has a like big eyeshadow palette, the 18 pan like, we, like I showed you before, um, two blush slash highlighter trios, a highlighter and two quads we love that and obviously the packaging is stunning and beautiful that is part of the reason why you are paying the price tag and I love that she her makeup just feels so luxe it's not just about the materials I love the prints she has such a like distinct print and I, don't know, I just I, I love the aesthetic of her entire brand so um, it looks like and same with the other palette that I showed you earlier, there's more shimmers than mattes in here. And she is known for her shimmer formula, so I like that. She's giving, instead of like most of a matte palette with a few shimmers, she's giving you more shimmers. Plus, if I'm gonna be paying a high price tag for something, I can use mattes from any other palette. Usually I don't wanna have to mix with palettes, but it looks like the mattes in here are uh some like are all neutrals which is also really nice so it's not like you're getting pops of colors and then gonna have to go to another palette so you can definitely just use this palette but if you need like a lighter brown or a black or you want to do like a blue look with that blue shimmer shade you'll have those in other palettes you know what i mean i love the color story of the big palette i think it's literally like beautiful 
So yeah, it looks like the there's like a purple, a peachy, a light peach. I can't tell if it's a shimmer or not. And then like a pink and a brown. So I love that. This is a beautiful color story. It also comes with a mirror, which is great. Again, if you're paying that price tag, you want to have a mirror and the nice packaging and everything. So I really, really like that. And this is clearly the star of the collection. So then moving on, actually here, let me just show you the swatches. I love when she does the swatches. She also does it on multiple skin tones. So you can see I'm pale right now because my self tan has worn off but I'm like usually you know light to medium so these shades look so freaking stunning and there's so many different there's a huge variety I like that it's not a strict color story again same with the other one you're getting a variety of colors it's not like an all pink palette or an all green palette or something this is a palette that you can use all the time and get so many different kinds of looks out of which I freaking love and then moving on to the, I think this is blush and highlighter. It looks like there's like a light and a dark. Um, oh God, these look so beautiful. The packaging on these look beautiful. They also have a mirror and the imprint on them is stunning. I'm honestly really tempted to buy this entire collection only because I only have tried eyeshadow palettes from her. So here are the swatches of them. So yeah, it's definitely two blushes and a highlighter. I feel like I would go for the deeper one personally, just for my skin tone. I don't dislike the light one at all, but just because I feel like I would want to use that highlighter more. They just look stunning, you guys. Look at these. Oh my God. And then we have the quads. So I'm very tempted to get the, the quad on the left right here because of that like blue purple duochrome and that beautiful burgundy color. Oh my God. The other quad is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's very more subtle everyday kind of thing so if you do want to get a pat mcgrath palette like if those colors speak to you and you want to use that palette every single day no maybe oh god i just want everything i want everything i want it all i really i really can't pick like it's gonna be so hard for me to pick between these again you have the beautiful packaging it has a mirror stunning and then this highlighter are you kidding me skin fetish sublime skin highlighter in lunar nude the packaging again because she kills it comes with a mirror looks like this is a heavy compact not cardboard it, i'm not sure though but it looks like this regardless from the quads and everything in that show palette because those are cardboard they still have the great print but they are cardboard this looks like it's heavy i'm not sure obviously because i can't see it in person um and i love the print on it the crown like everything about her brand is just so luxe and beautiful i just i can't get over it and this shade looks perfect and this I can assume would work on a multitude of skin tones because this looks like a pinky champagne -y. So I feel like this would work on like fair to dark skin. And plus you have the other highlighter options in the trio. So I do like though that if you don't care about the blush formula, you can just try a highlighter. So I am obsessed. Oh my God, I want the entire collection. Let me scoot back into the middle now, now that we're done with photos. So yeah, the prices and launch date are not fully announced for this yet. But the eyeshadow palette is $78, which is how much the one last year was. And again, I can say as long as it's the same formula, I think that is worth every single penny. Plus, you break that down for 18 shades. That's really not that expensive. Let's do some math real quick. Let's see. 78 divided by 18 is four almost four and a half dollars per shade. So definitely like on the pricier side, but when you configure everything else. It's still really, really good. Yeah, so you don't have prices or a release date for anything else. We just have the price for the eyeshadow palette. But, and if you want me to, when that is released, I will update it in the description box of this video. Like if you're finding this video not on the day I upload it and when the collection actually is officially released and on the website and ready to purchase. Um, but yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna be purchasing at least the eyeshadow palette because I want to add more to my collection. Depending on the prices of everything, I will purchase more depending. I also think that she does after pay on her website. I'm not 100% sure, but I think she does. And that's great too, because I know that Sephora does actually. So, or Sephora has Klarna. So if you do order, end up ordering this through Sephora, you can pay in installments, which is also really good. So, you know, especially when you're making multiple holiday purchases, but I'm obsessed. Let me know what your favorite product is out of the entire holiday collection for this. Let me know if you really want me to purchase it. If you really want me to, I will. I probably will anyway, but like that helps me justify it when I have people saying, I want to see a review from you. Then I don't feel like I'm just spending money on more makeup that I don't need because really that's all I do whenever I buy makeup at this point. <laughs> It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you have made it to this point because that means you liked it, okay? So just prove it, you know?
And if you wouldn't ever hate to see my face again, please hit the subscribe button. We're also doing a giveaway on Noelle Lash's Instagram right now, so make sure you go enter that and hit the notification bell if you do subscribe if you want to see my Halloween looks this year. I think that's everything. That's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye, guys.